A shattered window remains as a reminder to people living at the lakes at Ridgeway of what happened on September 4th. It is getting worse. It seems like it got more worse when they put that law in that everybody can carry a gun. This woman didn't want to be identified, but says she was visiting her grandchildren when she noticed a children's birthday party happening at one of the units. She says she saw a man and woman having an argument. It seemed like she was agitated about something. She seemed like she was talking to a young man and she was telling him like, oh, I, like I, can't, I can't take this, I can't take this, he got to go. People in the area say after the argument, the suspect threw something at the victim's window. They say he left. After that, they say he returned locked and loaded. Pow, 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 pow. And I told my little kids, I said, get down on the floor, get down on the floor because no bullet don't have a name. Memphis police say they found a man lying on the living room floor suffering from seven gunshot wounds. Court documents say he told officers he saw his girlfriend's ex-boyfriend, McQuail Britt, shoot him from the patio of the apartment. Police say the victim confirmed Britt was at the birthday party earlier in the day and had got into an argument with family members. No one else was injured, but the woman we spoke to says her grandchildren were in a nearby unit when the shooting happened. No matter where you go, somebody going to be acting crazy and they going to get into it with somebody and they going to be shooting. In Hickory Hill, Quimitra Wilborn, WREG News Channel 3. Britt faces one count of attempted first degree murder and employing a firearm with the intent to commit a felony. Tonight